Today I'm going to show you how to make a cold miso soup from my birthplace in Miyazaki, Japan. So stick around. I moved to the US when I was six months old, but we came back to my maternal grandparents' home in Miyazaki Prefecture every summer. Some of my fondest childhood memories involve picking vegetables before dawn with my great-grandmother and going fishing with my grandfather. Hiyajiru literally means chilled soup in Japanese, and it was one of my favorite breakfasts on those hot and steamy summer mornings in Japan. Every household has their own way of making it, but in ours, we start with tons of toasted sesame seeds, season it with miso, and then add dashi broth to make the soup. It's served with salted cucumbers and herbs over rice, which makes it light and refreshing, and yet it has enough substance to power you through the day. Let's start with a look at our ingredients. For our soup, I've got two cups of dashi. I'll include a link to my recipe in the description down below. I've also got a quarter cup of toasted sesame seeds, a third cup of yellow miso, and one tablespoon of sugar. For the veggies, I have three Japanese cucumbers, a half teaspoon of salt, and some green shiso and myoga for garnish. To prep the cucumbers, I'm gonna chop one end off of them, and then I'm gonna use a mandolin to slice them up. You can do this with a knife, but I like using a mandolin because it's quick and consistent. Just be careful of your fingers. I like to slice them about the thickness of a US quarter, which gives it a nice crunchy texture after they've been salted. Now I'm going to sprinkle the salt over the sliced cucumbers, and then I'm going to toss the cucumbers around with my hand to distribute the salt evenly. Osmosis is going to draw extra water out of the cucumbers, which is going to keep our soup from getting watery, and this is also going to transform their texture from crisp to crunchy. Now we just need to let these rest for about 20 minutes. Let's prepare our garnishes. I'm gonna start by slicing the tip off of our myoga bud. Then I'm gonna slice this in half lengthwise and then core each half by cutting a V-shaped slit around the core. Now I'm gonna cut a few slits into one side of the myoga and then slice it up. Myoga is the flower bud of the myoga plant and it's a relative of ginger. It has a strong herbaceous fragrance, which may not be everyone's cup of tea, so this is totally optional. Once it's sliced up, I'm gonna soak it in some cold water to crisp it up. For the shiso, I'm gonna stack the leaves and chop the stems off. Then I'm gonna roll the leaves up and slice them into thin threads. Shiso can be pretty fibrous, so you want to try and slice it as thinly as possible. Now you can gently rub the shiso between your fingers to unfurl the slices. For the soup, I've got a Japanese mortar here and I'm going to add the sesame seeds and use a pestle to grind them up. You can do this with any mortar and pestle, and if you don't have a set, you can use a blender, food processor, or spice grinder. Just be careful not to turn it into a sesame paste. Once the sesame seeds are roughly ground, I'm going to go ahead and add the sugar and grind the mixture together. You want to aim for a consistency that's like damp, coarse sand. Next, I'm going to add the miso and grind this together into a paste. It's worth noting that the salt content of miso can vary widely by brand, so you may need to add a little more or a little bit less. If your soup ends up being too salty, you can thin it out later after you've combined it with the cucumbers. Now I'm going to add a bit of the dashi and dissolve the miso and sesame mixture. This makes it a lot easier than adding all the dashi at once and trying to hunt down the stray blobs of miso. Once it's nice and smooth like this, you can add the rest of the dashi and stir it all together. Okay, this is looking perfect, so let's check on our cucumbers. As you can see, they've released some water and started to wilt, but I'm gonna help them along here by massaging them with my hand. You wanna start off with light pressure so you don't crush the slices, but as the cucumber gets more limp, you can start applying more pressure. 
The goal here is to get as much water out of the cucumber as you can, and they should turn translucent as they give up their juices. Once it's looking like this, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a handful and squeeze out as much of the juice as I can. The more you squeeze, the crunchier the cucumbers will be. Before I put this together, I want to send a big thank you to Musubi Kiln for sending us the tableware used in this video. They ship worldwide, and you can use coupon code NORECIPES to get 5% off your order. Every purchase made using the links in the description down below helps to support this channel, so be sure to check out their other beautiful Japanese tableware while you're there. To assemble the hiyajiru, I've got a serving bowl here, and I'm gonna break up the clumps of squeezed cucumber as I add it to the bowl. Then I'm gonna pour the cold miso soup over the cucumbers. I'm gonna garnish this with the shiso, which is gonna give it a wonderful fresh fragrance to contrast the nutty sesame and earthy miso. Then I'm gonna top it off with a nest of myoga. To finish this off, I'm gonna add a few ice cubes. And our hiyajiru is done. Now let's prepare the rice to go with this. I've got a serving of freshly cooked Japanese short grain rice here, and I'm gonna add some cold water to it and use a spatula to break up any clumps while stirring it around. This not only cools off our hot rice, it's also gonna remove any excess starch from the surface of the rice, which can make the hiyajiru gloppy. If you're not using freshly cooked rice, be sure to reheat it once in the microwave, or the rice is gonna be hard. Once the rice is all separated and the water is cloudy, pour the mixture into a sieve and shake off as much excess water as you can. Then I'm gonna serve it in a rice bowl and we're ready to eat! Hiyajiru is refreshing and delicious as is, but most people pour it over a bowl of rice like this. The soup percolates down into the rice, turning it into a kind of chilled porridge. I like to garnish this with shichimi togarashi for a burst of aroma and heat, but this is totally optional. All right, let's try this out. Itadakimasu! Mm. The cucumber is so crunchy, but it's rich in a super satisfying way without being cloying like mayonnaise or cream. And the shiso and the myoga really brighten up the dish, and it's perfect for a hot summer day. I serve this over rice today, but it's also delicious over cold udon or soba noodles. And if you want to cut back on the carbs, try having it over tofu. As always, let me know if you enjoyed this by giving this a big thumbs up, and don't forget to share it with all your friends that might enjoy a cold soup. All right, I'm gonna go have the rest of this, but be sure to check out this playlist for more delicious Japanese recipes, and I'll catch you in the next one.